Hey guys, I finally got my Chiappa Rhino 40DS, the 4-inch chrome version, back a few days ago. If you remember, this is the gun that, uh, within about three hours of me bringing it home, and I opened it out of the box, brand new, it broke. The Something in the hammer mechanism broke, and I sent the gun back to get repaired, and I sent it to get the, uh, the Stage 2 trigger upgrade installed. And finally, six weeks later, uh, I got it back a few days ago. So, just thought I'd put a, a quick review of the trigger upgrade on it and maybe kind of what I think of Kiapa's service and the way they handled the whole thing. Um, right off the bat, I'll tell you that I'm a little disappointed in Kiapa's service. It, like I said, it was out of my hands for six weeks. There was, I think, pretty poor communication on their part. Um, I, I put the whole story up on, the, on a website I've created called MatebaFan.com. If you go there and look at the Rhino page, you'll, you'll see the whole write-up sort of what happened. But there was just a lot of back and forth. Um, the, the people that I worked with, there was, it seemed like it was just one guy, and he wasn't very competent at what he was doing. He, uh, I had to send my, my dealer's FFL a couple times. At one point, I was waiting uh, waiting to hear back from them, and it turns out the gun had been repaired, and they were just waiting for me to send an FFL, and I had no idea they even needed it. So just little things like that. Um, I wasn't too pleased with that. Uh, they ended up having to send it to the, back to the original distributor because I had to get a new gun. There was a scratch on the frame, and they just ended up replacing the whole thing. So that's why they needed the FFL, and they sent it back to the original distributor. And that took a while. For some reason, they didn't pass along my FFL. You know, I sent it in because they asked. They said they needed that, and then they didn't pass along to the distributor. So I had to wait on the distributor to, to get in touch with me and say, "Oh, we need your FFL," and that took a week for some reason. So. Um, just the whole affair was kind of disappointing. Not only that, but I paid uh, $40 to ship the gun, and then I had to pay another $20 for my dealer's fees to, to pick up the new gun and get the new gun transferred to me, and they made no effort to cover any of that. So basically I was out $60 on top of paying for a brand new gun straight from the factory that I opened up myself from the bag. And so, I mean, overall, I, I was not too pleased with the way they handled it. Uh, moving on to the trigger upgrade kit, they did install that rather quickly. I called in, paid for it, and then within a day or two it was installed, and that was when they were ready to ship it off. But um, the trigger upgrade cost $99, and I don't see it on their website anymore. I don't know if they just took it down to retool, or I don't know what the deal with that is, but it was up there for a while, uh, and I called and placed my order or whatever while it was up, and then they took it down, and I don't know, they still honored the sale, so... For $99, they installed a new trigger on it, and I have to say, it is it is quite an improvement. Uh, in double action especially, it's just so much lighter, much more pleasant. It's smoother. Um, it still has a little bit of the sort of, the Rhino, if you've ever pulled the trigger on one of these, it has a bit of an awkward sort of stack to it, or sort of an awkward rhythm. Um, it's not just a straight pull back. It kind of, it's easy, and then it gets hard, and then it gets hard again. Um, so it, it does still have that sort of feel, but it's just so much lighter. I mean, you can shoot it in double action, no problems. Cocking it into single action um, is a lot easier. You know, that's one of my criticisms of the the other Rhino that I have, the 2-inch, is that cocking it into single action was just a bear. Um, but with this improved trigger kit, the Stage 2, it's a lot easier to do. Also on these larger models, the lo on the longer barreled ones, the uh, you'll notice that the sight is integrated into the frame of the gun. So this is a little bit more comfortable to pull back anyway. But uh, it's a lot easier to cock into single action. Unfortunately, one of my complaints with, uh, this is a new 4-inch, but the, the first 4-inch that I got, the trigger in double action and single action was pretty mushy and squishy, and I didn't care for it too much. Double action now is really good, but single action is still a bit gooey for me. There's a little bit of creep and take up. Um, and in revolvers, I just think that's sort of part of the appeal of shooting them, is that you can get... Just a glass rod single action. And this one still has a bit of mush in the single action. Like I said, the double action is really, really light now. And honestly, I've shot, uh, 50, I've put 50 rounds through this the night that I got it back. Didn't have any light primer strikes or anything, so I was glad about that. Um, and really, I mean, it's light enough in double action that that's probably pretty much how I'll be shooting it. Um, so that's the Stage 2 trigger upgrade kit. Definitely recommend it for the uh, the Chiappa Rhino. The comparing it to my original two inch, the double action is much lighter, much improved. The single action is not nearly as good. My two inch is very crisp, but overall for ninety nine dollars, I think it's a pretty good improvement to the gun, uh, and I'm glad that I got it. So thanks for watching.